welcome back to Durian Milk and today we will be doing another food review. So I'm Durian, unfortunately milk today can't make it so I have reverted back to my old setup for, for now. So you may ask what's today, let me give you a clue. It's got something to do with McDonald's and it's Nihon! Yes. Uh, yeah, so if you've been paying attention to all the ads popping up here and there, you will know that McDonald just released an anime style ad about the Hokkaido Salmon Burger. Not Salmon, fun fact. It's pronounced as Salmon. Or in Japanese, Hokkaido Sake Burger Des. Yeah, so I bought the double patty today. So as you can see here, in this original packaging one and then there's one hidden patty below I don't know if you can see it. yeah so today I'm going to be reviewing the whole set that came out if you saw the intro there's the burger there's the starless potato or jagaimo no hoshi eh no ah oh man never mind uh Yes, potato stars, they're, they're just like harsh brown but shaped in the stars. The Hershey's McFlurry, I mean, I wanted the Hershey's cone but uh, it's a bit hard to bring it back here to my setup to record. So I went with the Hershey's McFlurry instead. And last, and definitely not least, actually yeah, it's the least, is the jasmine green tea. I probably would not have an episode dedicated to jasmine green tea, but uh, since I have to order it, not, not have to, but it was recommended, so you know, I'll get the recommended, the osusume. So yeah, so I got the recommended green tea, so I should just rec uh, review everything inside. So without further ado, let's move on to the burger. I'm really hungry, but I shall refrain from now and I'll examine the burger. So you can see there's the sesame seeds. There's the black sesame seeds in fact. Normal McDonald's buns have only the white seed, but here you have both. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you can see there's white and black to make it look more Japanese, I guess. There's some onions and lettuce. There's a... What sauce is this? This smells like the McDonald's Japanese... Ah, the sesame dressing. The sesame dressing. And then last but not least, you have the patty. So, without further ado, let's bite right in. Hmm. Actually, it's not too bad. I thought it would taste worse. I don't really have very high expectations of McDonald's anymore. But Yeah. It's not bad. It's like the crop like croquette, you know? But with salmon inside. Like, they cook the salmon pretty well. As you see it's pinky but it's cooked. So it's like just right. The onions are the normal McDonald's onions. And they match very well with the salmon patty. The sauce, which is sesame, I goes really well with the uh, fish. And the bread, I think the bread is just there to round out the flavor. So this is pretty good. And I thought eating double would make me like overwhelm or whatever, but it's. It's still very very good. So yeah. Even if you don't want to try the other thing, try. Try this. I don't think you'll disappoint. Most of my friends have given very favorable remarks about it. That's why I went to try it. And by the way, I'm not. This will be part of the new series monthly McDonald reviews. Uh, I might change the name in the future, but the idea is there. So, because Singapore 
McDonald's, every one or two months they will come out with a new menu item, that is a seasonal item. It might be new, it might be revised, but yeah, basically, I'm trying to cover all the seasonal items. And if uh, I feel like it, I'll cover the normal items too. So yeah. Moving on, we have the Star's Potato. <laughs> I like saying it like that, it sounds funny. But yeah, so we have the star potato, but some of the stars are not completely star, as you can see they're missing the edge. I mean, I don't really care about the shape, but like, uh, yeah. So, let's have a taste. It's like, normal hash brown but crispier on the outside. It's actually, it's very good. It actually tastes very very good. I mean, okay, to say taste good is extreme, but like I said, like, the mouthfeel and you bite in it crunchy with the mashed potato, mashed potato the hash brown feeling inside. It's very nice. And the feeling of popping it in your mouth like that is very satisfying. Next, we have the dessert. Oh, dessert! Hershey's Chocolate McFlurry or oh, Hershey's Chocolate McFlurry I'm kind of disappointed because last time right they used to come out with a with a special packaging for Hershey's I think it's on the website then I will show a picture if I can find one so yeah I'm normally a more of a vanilla cone or like in general McDonald cone person but let me try the Hershey's McFlurry. I luckily I after putting it in the fridge for a couple of minutes, I managed to get it back to its normal consistency, so I can review it. <laughs> so I can review it at its peak condition. So without further ado, let's dig right in. Hmm. You can taste the Hershey's chocolate inside. Yeah, Hershey's chocolate has a distinct taste. So yeah, you can taste the Hershey's chocolate inside with the bits of, I believe it's Oreo, cause McFlurry normally has Oreo. So yeah, it's very good. The color looks, um, I don't know. It looks like something I don't want to mention. Some unsatisfactory things that come out from the bottom, but on the other hand, it also looks like Milo. So it's okay. I don't know, I mean the looks is just normal I guess for chocolate. You you can barely smell anything because it's cold when you breathe it, it's just like and then but the taste wise Sugoi Oishi Umai You know? It's just very satisfying. Now it it's just the first few bites, so I don't know if it'll be too rich. But from what I can gather, it should be fine. I ate quite a few scoops already, like maybe five. I don't think there's a problem finishing the whole cup and feeling. Like, I want to say knee, like, not like feeling too overpowered. Yes, the word. Like feeling too overpowered and a chocolatey taste. Last but not least, we got the green tea from Heaven and Earth. So, yeah. What can I, what else can I say about this? It smells like jasmine green tea. It's a uh, beautiful. What what color is it, is this even? I don't know what I'm gonna get it getting at. It's just. Transparent Transparent nice golden brown I, I don't know if you can see yeah. Transparent nice golden brown And let me just drink <sighs> Refreshing it's, For people who don't really drink tea This is pretty good Because you can get some tea flavour But because it's 
been sweetened, it doesn't, uh, the tea flavor isn't too strong and it washes away the Hershey's chocolate so it has, these two actually pair pretty well if you get overpowered by this, you drink this and you reset your palate and you can get back to this again so all in all this is great this is not bad this very good this pairs well with the whole meal that's all i'm durian thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't click the notification bell and i'll see you all next time